Hi students, today I'd like to walk you through your Canvas course with Georgia Virtual School. Um, this will be kind of an interesting video because this is not a live course with students, but I've set it up as much as possible to look like what you will see. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. Here's what you'll see as a student. Um, you'll see this quick link section and you'll see a bulletin board below. The bulletin board will change. Um, fairly regularly and it will have important information for you and then you'll see these uh, quick link buttons I'm gonna s I'm not gonna start with this getting started button even though it says getting started because I'm gonna get there after I get over the uh, talk about the home page so um, if you click on this class announcements button it will take you to the announcements from our course now as you'll notice you're gonna see a list of all the announcements but you won't actually see the announcement until you click on it so um, just click on the announcement and you'll see whatever I posted for you. So for example, this is a review video. It's just a practice announcement. Um, let me see if I have any that look more like real announcements. This might be something more likely that you would see. Okay. So this is kind of something you might see from me um, in an announcement. It's got really important information. So definitely make sure you check out those announcements. Anytime you want to get back to the home page, you just click home right here. Okay, so let's um, take a look at this class resources button. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to have a lot of information for you for the class. Okay, um, it has links to the student success site um, where you can find lots of information about GAVS policies, how to use Canvas, your grades, assignments, all sorts of stuff, and including submitting, um, installing Office 365. Um, at the beginning of the semester, we typically have um, help sessions, so the links to those recordings will be right here. Um, we have a link to Schmoop, USA Test Prep, Galileo, um, and then these are some course specific ones for me. So um, this is how you'll get to my environmental science resources. So you can click on this and it will take you to a newsletter that has hints about all of your assignments and lots of frequently asked questions. So anytime a student asks a question, I post it anonymously here. That way you guys get a chance to look at it and some help videos, all that kind of stuff. Um, lots of stuff for you. And then also links to my stream channel. So um, you can see um, different videos that I've recorded for students or that um, I've saved because I think they're kind of important. Okay, so not all of these are ones that I've made personally um, but a lot of them are you'll be able to tell when you hear who's talking in the video I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna click on the teacher information page on this page you can um, see my picture a little video I made for you about my family um, a professional biography I wrote for you guys in case you um, care and um, my contact information my email my phone number and my um, office hours and then the link to my live learning sessions. Now, um, the live learning sessions for your semester might be a little bit different, so make sure you check in the live learning session page on your course, which is what we're gonna look at next. This is just a sample. If we click on live learning sessions, you can see some information about it. You can see the link how to get there and um, the date and time. And then any recordings will be here you can click on the date for the recording. I'll have a note about the topic and then any extra resources I use during there, during the session, like a video or a PowerPoint um, or anything like that, all of or any handouts, all of that will be in the notes section, all those links. Now, if we go back to our home, now we're going to talk about the getting started in the modules. Now, both of these take you to the modules page, but the getting started is the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into the course. When you click the Getting Started, it'll take you straight to this Getting Started module. It has lots of information about how to do your Georgia Virtual School course, how to move around and navigate and um, all of that kind of stuff. And then at the end, there's an acknowledgement form quiz, which is really important that you take that, even though it's not worth any, um, it's not really worth a grade in the grade book. Um, it's still really important just to, for us to know that you know how to do those things. So that's where that's going to take you. So when you click on modules, okay, so it's going to show you um, this getting started section, 
this yellow is just some practice stuff I put in here just to kind of show you guys some things and again um, you can see your assignments so you want to look at the scientific method um, notes you can click here and you can kind of learn this information and then you can go to the next page which is your quiz okay um, that kind of thing so it's showing past due just because you know I'm looking at a fake student right now um, so that's kind of how that'll work you'll you'll learn the content and then you'll do some activities about that content then you'll learn the content and then you'll do some activities so it's really important to follow your module in order okay every single module you want to follow it in order okay if you just go to the assignments you're gonna miss all of that really important information that came before that okay if you have an assignment that I want you to kind of start a little early because I think it's gonna take you a little bit of time I'll make a notation on here that says start two days before the due date and I'll show you in a minute why I do that um, when you click on the assignment this is my practice when I wanted to show you it'll look kind of like this it'll have a section with your instructions any helpful hints that I have and then some links to canvas guides okay let me go back to the modules and the discussions will be kind of the same it'll have your prompt some helpful hints when uh, creating a discussion and then some um, links to the canvas guides okay so hopefully that will be really helpful for you okay so that's how you get to your modules if you want to look at your syllabus you can go here and it's pretty basic it's got some information up here for you you can see your grade weights over here um, so you can see your discussions your quizzes and your daily work your labs your test and your final exam okay and then you can see all your assignments on your pace plan right here again if there's something I want you to do early you'll see that it's due on Friday April 24th but I've got a note here that says I want you to start it two days before so um, it's really important that you're always looking you know a couple days before three four even five days would be awesome on your schedule so you know if you see anything any assignments that I say oh you might want to do this a little early now this is a summer schedule so you'll see each day has several assignments on it because summer's really short right this is um, this is a full year chemistry class I know it says physics here but it's a full year chemistry class that students are doing in six weeks so there's a lot of assignments on each day um, in the fall and spring it won't look like that um, you can also go to your calendar I'll let it load for a second and when you go to your calendar you can see that each assignment the due date of each assignment is on here okay um, you can kind of hover over it and it will tell you what it is and it's gonna say 1159 p.m. because that's the last time that you can turn it in okay you can always turn it in early but if you turn in after 1159 it will be late okay you can look at your calendar in agenda view which I like this one personally um, and you can look at it in week view but week view is not super helpful because it puts all the assignments at the very end of the day so you have to scroll down there um, so you can look month to kind of get an idea of where you might want to um, you know, kind of plan your time you can see this one has assignments due basically like every other day to give you kind of a break and again you've got this agenda um, where you can look at it this way okay so here's our class okay and the last thing I want to show you is you can look here at grades and it will show you your grades now um, this is uh, this student's name is test student so it's the student that I use to kind of practice things so you'll see that test student hasn't turned in very many assignments you'll see um, if they haven't turned them in they're called they're labeled missing if they're late they have a late mark next to them and if they aren't due yet they don't have anything if they haven't turned it in um, if you have turned something in there will be some kind of feedback for you so let's see if test student has some feedback here let's see if this is what this is okay that's just saying that that does not count to the final grade and so this is a comment I made uh, for test student and I said test don't forget to turn in your assignment okay but if you have any feedback it will show up right here okay 
So that's kind of how you're grading. Again, it's showing your grade calculation over here. Um, and then I know that I said that was the last thing, but this is one more thing that I think is pretty cool. You can see your to-do list. So it's going to show you the assignment and then the date and that it's due. And then once you've done that, it will automatically cross it off your um, to-do list. And it will also cross it off your calendar. Okay. So let's let these events, these uh, assignments load. So let's say I turned in the balancing chemical equations discussion. It would cross that off. And it would cross off my schedule so I could kind of see that I'd already done it. So anyway, this was just kind of like a quick little overview of what your Canvas course will look like. Um, hopefully this was helpful. And email me if you have any questions.